CERN might not be alone in its search for the dark universe. Another facility is carrying out phenomenal research, looking for holes and ripples in the fabric of space-time. The LIGO facilities in Hanford, Washington and Livingston, Louisiana are carrying out research that could confirm Einstein's theory of relativity and his hypothesis regarding gravity. Einstein hypothesized that gravity is a wave. LIGO finished upgrades to their observatory in September 2015 that allowed them to detect ripples or holes in space-time at four times sensitivity. They began advanced studies on September 18, 2015, in search of the elusive gravitational wave. On September 25th, a scientist and cosmologist named Lawrence Krauss released a tweet saying, quote, rumor of a gravitational wave detection at LIGO detector. Amazing if true, we'll post details if it survives, unquote. But now this scientist, Lawrence Krauss, tweeted again in the month of January, alerting the public that a gravitational wave was discovered between September 18th and September 25th. Because of the bustle surrounding CERN, almost nobody heard or cared about LIGO's discovery. Here's what renowned cosmologist Lawrence Krauss said about the LIGO facility and its future announcement about the gravitational wave. A gravitational wave is simply a ripple in space and time. It, when I, general relativity tells us that matter and energy affect the properties of space and time, and matter curves space. And when matter moves around or in any way changes its configuration, it alters the curvature of space in, in its nearby vicinity. It produces a ripple, literally um, just like a wave in, in water when you move your hands. And this is, when I move my hands, I'm creating a ripple in space. Uh, but, and that propagates out at the speed of light. The point is that gravity is so weak that normally we can't detect such ripples in space and time. You need catastrophic events like the merger of neutron stars or black holes, which are the things that LIGO are looking for, to maybe create a signal which is strong enough for a very, very sensitive detector to, to detect. Clearly, this scientist, Lawrence Krauss, is telling you exactly what LIGO's agenda is. They're looking for the dark universe. They're looking for black holes. And they're trying to find gravity because they believe gravity is the key to the dark universe. That's LIGO's agenda, very similar to CERN. Well, it would be, it would be uh, open up a new window on the universe because gravitational waves have come from literally the most extreme astrophysical events around, the merger of, of black holes, for example. It would tell us a lot about the nature of strong gravity and about, um, and about events that are happening in the universe at the most extreme scales. So it would literally open up a new window on the universe, and every time we have a new window, we're, we're, we're surprised. And so it's not... Uh, it, it's, it's very exciting. It could be the astronomy of the 21st century if, and I suspect one day they will detect such gravitational waves. We have every expectation, and maybe they have, maybe they haven't. What it would do would be one more bit of evidence that his theory allows us to explore the universe and understand it in ways we never have before. So Lawrence Krauss stated a couple of times that LIGO experiment is searching for a new window of the universe. He also stated this was a literal window, not a metaphor. While LIGO is looking for a door or a window to the dark universe, CERN is trying to force a door open. I have been saying for months that CERN scientists are literally trying to open a door, and I made this claim in the face of many theories that claimed otherwise. There have been countless false rumors about CERN, that it was permanently shut down in September, completely false. That it's turning iron into gold, false. That it opened a portal above Geneva, false. That it's looking for the pentaquark or the decayed particle, decaying particle or zombie particle, whatever you want to call it, false. All of these rumors turned out to be incorrect. My original theory about CERN has continued to stay true. They're trying to break through the constraints of time and space, and they continue to state this over and over and over and over and over in the media. They're not hiding their agenda. They're putting it in plain sight. They do this a lot.
Did Ligo discover something on Yom Kippur, a day of great expectation? It very well may have. Unlike CERN, senior LIGO scientists have not leaked anything about their discovery, but something was discovered in September. Something that could involve gravity. Something that could involve the key to the dark universe. CERN and LIGO both have something in common. They are searching for gravity. There is significant evidence that CERN was carrying out experiments looking for the gravity particle or the graviton, known as the Lord particle. While LIGO was carrying out measurements to discover a gravitational wave, ripples, and the potential to cut a hole in the fabric of space-time. Why are they doing this? Because gravity is the key to opening up a world beyond our four dimensions of space and time. Gravity is the only alleged particle that can leak outside of our four dimensions. They have to get to the fifth dimension. They must get there. The controversial Illuminati celebratory movie called Interstellar was about accessing the fifth dimension. In this movie, one of the characters named Cooper discovers that a ghost haunting his house is using gravity to communicate with him through the fabric of space-time. Interstellar is telling the story of gravity and its pathway into the fifth dimension. Two of the greatest scientists in world history, Newton and Einstein, have laid the hypothesis for gravity. Now we're still returning to 2015 because it holds secrets. What did LIGO discover in September? And what did CERN discover in November? Both CERN and LIGO have yet to make a full disclosure. But if my suspicions are correct, they will both confirm gravity as a particle and a wave. If gravity moves from theory to fact, from force to particle and wave, we might see the birth of the greatest mystery the world has ever seen, the birth of the abyss, the dark universe, the fifth dimension. It seems Newton's warning about 2015 is taking a very unusual shape. Remember that one of the most mysterious verses in all of scripture is when Jesus muttered these words, quote, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Was Jesus telling us something about gravity? To fall, to fall. It is an indication that gravity is in effect. Gravity is the force that brings Satan to earth. Was Jesus muttering to us as believers that the key to Satan's full unveiling upon the earth is gravity? We have now entered the Analusius. This is the prophesied time of occultists and Luciferians, and the arrival of their capstone, the Prince of Rebels. Believers in Jesus must be armed with the sword of the Spirit. Right now, you must listen to what Paul said in Ephesians 6. Our brother Paul wrote Ephesians 6 to show you how to fight in the final hour and the final minutes and even the smaller units of time. Because those constraints are being violated right now. A veil is being opened, it's being pierced. And the force that's piercing it is gravity. We survived. Somewhere in 
in their fifth dimension, they saved us. Is this why they want to help us, huh? I don't know, but they constructed this three-dimensional space inside their five-dimensional reality to allow you to understand it. Well, that ain't working. Yes, it is. You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. You have worked out that you can exert a force across space-time. Gravity. To send a message. Affirmative. Gravity can cross the dimensions, including time. Apparently.